sorry to break your heart but buy your 10k you won't get the what you're looking for only that your one doctor i share vitamin c serum you want to use to cure your acne you want to use it for your hyperpigmentation you want to use it for your dark spots you want to use it for your sombo kilo day <laughs> laughs in brokenness hi everyone welcome back to my channel my name is cynthia if it's your first time i've seen this gorgeous face thank you so much for coming around don't forget to click the subscribe button and like this video and share this video so today we are talking skincare yeah it feels like now everybody's giving skincare advice but well i'm here to give unpopular opinions that i feel about skincare so the first i'm going to start with is those people that tell you oh we think you can start like a very good skincare routine sorry to break your heart but buy your 10k you won't get the what you're looking for to be honest and yeah because those people that recommend those things to you to be fair they don't use it most of the time i'm not going to lie to you and me as a person i know i don't know so so much about skincare like i know a little bit over than normal people know about skincare i've done my research and i've seen that skincare is expensive so anybody that's going to come and tell you that oh with your 10k they're going to do on a budget for you no it's not going to work you will end up getting products that will not do what they're supposed to do for you or products that even cause harm to your skin because the truth is that before you get a well formulated product that have gone testing packaging every other thing and they're coming say for you for 2k how much is the packaging let's start with that they are selling you sunscreen for one five it's not just sunscreen one five and you go you have money to go and buy it how much is the package how much is everything the process the process of making it then what is now inside so that alone should tell you that okay you are going in for it. and then when you get it and then people are coming to do review about it i say oh i got this sunscreen for 2000 living white cast what were you expecting no tell me now what were you expecting you're expecting it to be like product that have come down to formulate no i'm not trying to say that everything must be expensive but then there is a bare minimum for something that prices you should see on things and that should already be a red flag for you not to get that thing that's the truth number two unpopular opinion is that everybody is using vitamin c for everything basically everything only that your one doctor i share vitamin c serum you want to use to cure your acne you want to use it for your hyperpigmentation you want to use it for your dark spots you want to use it for your sombo kilo day abba that dr rachel only it i feel like that's the one that is shocking people now dr rachel everybody dr rachel dr rachel basically because it's cheap yes i understand but is it really worth it for me or oh, i might be wrong but like for me i've not used it to be honest and i don't think it's something i want to use because i feel like mm, I learned in a hard way i learned this recently vitamin c as a product is would i say unstable and it's sensitive to sunlight so when you see all these vitamin c serums that they sell to you and they are not like in any darker shade of bottle they're supposed to come in a dark bottle to protect it from uv rays and everything from absorbing light like so if they don't come in darker shades and they are very transparent that if you put it on lights it too like it doesn't work you end up at that moment you rub it your skin will be glowing yes but does it do the main thing that you want it to do for you the answer is no and mind you that doctors uh i said dr Rachel, vitamin c is an antioxidant basically it has brightening properties but it's an antioxidant which means it does more of a preventive work than a corrective work I don't even understand me so it can easily prevent you from getting some bone or getting hyperpigmentation but it cannot actively cure your hyperpigmentation or your acne no you see people that have acne breakouts like active breakouts you can actively see that you are breaking out today new people will come out tomorrow new people will come out and you using vitamin c it's an active ingredient so it's going to even trigger more of your breakouts so if you're going to say oh you want to treat your acne how about you treat your acne first before you now enter your vitamin c mode because it seems like everybody now if you're not using vitamin c that means you have not started uh, so uh, skincare everybody wants to do skincare you want to use vitamin c i am not even going for good vitamin c products because 
I liked the idea. I was doing uh, what's the balance, but it wasn't necessarily doing anything for me. I can't even lie. And I started using uh, uh, ordinary, and it comes vitamin C comes in different form. It comes in the form of ascorbic acid, like L ascorbic acid, and when vitamin C also is mixed with ferric acid in combination with ferric acid, and then it does a very good work when they are combined with other products in them, not just when they are used alone. Most times it does better when they are used with other products in them. Most vitamin C that are well manufactured, check it, they don't just contain vitamin C. It comes in form of ascorbic acid, or ascorbic acid, or it comes with ferric acid with it. And that's what like enhances its how like a functionality. I don't know why I write it, but it enhances how it works on your face. So yeah, everybody must know use vitamin C. So yeah, that is the second thing. So number three unpopular opinion I have about skincare is that right now, skincare is becoming ridiculously expensive. Yes, if nobody is saying it, I'm going to say it because I don't know if it's just the hype of the moment or the rave of the moment now because is skincare actually overhyped? That's the most question that people say. Is skincare overhyped? There are two ways to it from a, an angle it might be from an angle it might not be skincare is not overhyped for me in the sense that you protect your skin you have to take care of your skin because it's not everything i'm going to have to wear makeup at some point you will have to actually be very comfortable with your skin very confident with your skin and also your skin is like the main part if you're not taking care of your skin where are you going to take care of exactly and all these things are going to prevent you from cancer from other things from using fake product from using bleaching cream all of those stuff yes we know but the prices that you people put on some things right now is outrageous and yeah our economy is shaking so imagine this i used to buy for like 7k i'm now buying for 13k i'm looking at myself this tiam tiam this thing i remember when i started skincare last year in november i bought it for like six nine tiam now is 11k where do i want to get it from <laughs> It's ridiculously expensive. Everybody is hyping it up. People, you don't even know the one that is fake. You don't know the one that is that is real again. They will say fake for eleven k. They will say original for eleven k. How do you differentiate it? So for me, oh, I better before you buy from any skincare product or any online vendor, make sure that is a trusted vendor. Go to their website or go to their pages. Check reviews. Reviews don't lie. Go and just check the comments people are leaving under their pages. Because it's it's you have to be able to know that these people are certified skincare vendors before you buy from them because you don't want fair prey, we don't want for prey of buying fake products that will not cause harm to you. That's not what you're looking for. You're looking to glue your skin and not to cause more damage to your skin. Number four unpopular opinion I have about skincare is that a lot is going on. There is this time I open my, my FYP, is that what it's called? Yes, my FYP. Today people are doing, they're doing cold steam. Tomorrow they're doing warm steam. Next tomorrow they're doing what's facial. The next next tomorrow they're doing vampire facials. I'm like, this skincare that I'm trying to put myself inside. Laughs in brokenness. Because what? So many things are coming on. It's good though. Tomorrow you see Botox. Tomorrow you see another one. I'm like, oh. I don't know at this point. I really don't know because there's a whole lot in skincare than just using the products. To be honest, you see people that their skin is giving glow, glow, glass skin. Some people are naturally blessed with good skin. There's no dispute of that fact. Why some other people have skin concerns that have to put in more effort to their skin? So when you see people that their skin is glowing and they just change just on the product acts in depth most time they do facials twice a month or once a month it's not small facials so they'll do a uh, cold facial they'll do one facial <laughs> no mommy they'll do vampire facial they do everything they'll do micro needling is it micro needling yes that's what they call it they'll do all, all sorts of things so they'll do chemical pills so they're putting enough money in their skincare which i just want to go and copy it because of the one that's showing you oh my money routine this one you want to go and copy that one i don't think your skin is going to do like that no it's not going to do like that sorry to break your heart but it's not going to do like that because they're spending money they are spending money on their skin are you ready to spend it <laughs> and yeah the last but not the least opinion i have about skincare is that skincare does not have immediate action 
unless it's a hydrating product unless it's snail machine unless it's a uh, hyaluronic acid unless it's a hydrating product that's when you're going to see the effect immediately but if it is antioxidants if it is exfoliants if it is any other like product it takes time it works over time so you need to be patient you need to be consistent anybody that is selling any product to you and tell you that in one week your skin is going to blue is a lie run that product is a bleaching product there's no product that works mad like magic two three they'll tell you three days it will work on your skin you start glowing it will clear your hyperpigmentation it's will only one product they'll tell you to clear your hyperpigmentation to clear your acne to clear your sunburn in one day or in three days i want to go and buy it that's mm -hmm. what you are looking for you're going to see it yes you're gonna see it because what were you thinking something that have taken that much time to accumulate hyperpigmentation that i've stayed for like one year you want to clear it in three days bombastic side eyes that's what i'm looking at you bombastic side eyes <laughs> so yeah skincare takes time you need to be patient with it and yeah that's what i think about skincare so you can actually drop your own unpopular opinion about skincare tell me what you think maybe that this is my opinion they're actually popular there might be who knows but yeah that's what i think about skincare thank you for sticking around and watching this video don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video until next time see you guys bye